Yo, Steel Mills, what's the deal, man? It's Thursday, you know, Friday Eve. We finna go here and get this day out the way. And, um, yeah, y'all know how the story go, man. Got a big fight this weekend, Jack Catterall versus Regis Progray. We definitely looking forward to that. Kind of excited about, you know, Regis getting back into the ring and getting back into, you know, getting back in the winner's bracket, man. But it's a tough task at hand. Jack Catterall is not nobody to play with. So we'll see how it goes. But Pete Gat, man, let's get into this, man. And even if he don't win, you know what I'm saying? If he go, if he goes out in a blaze of glory, like how Josh Taylor went out in a blaze of glory against Jack Catterall, then so be it. You dig? I ain't no problem with that, man. Niggas lose every day, B. It is what it is. But Pete Gat, man, like I was, I want to get to this shit, man. And um, that's, you know, Teofimo Lopez strikes again, man. Um. Listen, man, if you are a content creator, I can understand. I can understand you wanting to get, all right, like, let's say you're trying to get your platform off the ground. You want to get into journalism and you want to, you want to be able to be profitable off of it. You want to be able to, you want that particular, you, you want that to be able to sustain you as far as your lifestyle is concerned. Getting someone like a high level prospect, a highly touted prospect who has a high ceiling, like uh, a Bruce Carrington, a Floyd Schofield, uh, you know, a Keyshawn Davis, um, Murataya, uh, Richard Torres, um, you know, somebody along those lines. You dig um, a, a, a Carolyn Dubois if you want to go into the, you know, with you know, with the women. Um, you dig, uh, 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 um, just someone along them lines, man. You want to get, you know, an upstart. You know, you want you want a familiar face to the boxing public to upstart your channel. I under, you know, it's understandable, man. So you take that and you amplify that that much more when you get somebody who's a two division champion, two time lineal champion, and a Teofimo Lopez. I understand that. I definitely understand that, but. When you're a representative of us, maybe you're not a socio and political representation of us, but you're a visual representation of us. So usually our triggers should naturally be your triggers, because when people say inflammatory shit, you're going to be the one who feels that it's going to resonate with you in a certain way that it's not going to resonate with anybody else. Because this particular colloquialism is immediately attached to you and your people, you know, that should be that unknown right there should have a motherfucker like, hold on, man, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I, I I don't like I don't like this language we use. Now some people I'm a, I'm not gonna cap man I'm not I, I've told y'all before man I ain't no I ain't no gorilla stomp down ass nigga I'm not I'm not I'm not hot headed I'm mild mannered you dig what I'm saying I, I just you know it's it drains me when I gotta get on some nigga shit it, it's really draining to me you dig when I gotta walk around with the meme mug on that's that just drains my spirit you know what I'm saying I, I seek no I seek no joy out of that. Matter of fact, when someone is pushing my buttons, I do what I can do to isolate myself away from them so I don't have to come up out of myself and get on that type of time with an individual. I'll give you a multitude of warnings to let you know, my nigga, you pissing me off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Just chill, you dig? So I'm not one of them dudes who get extra out, man. It was a point, it was, a, you know, I understand wanting to see the good in somebody. I, I understand that. So you don't have to go there because in your heart of hearts, you get it's you you know it 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 adds to your moral compass when you could just take disrespect and degra you know vocal degradation and still find a way to get through it without having to turn to some carnal you know uh, to some, you know get on some carnal type behavior. You dig? I was once upon a time that dude where you would try and see the good in a motherfucker. It, it'll never be me again. Never, never again, man. Some people have said some wild shit to me. To the point where they jaw should, you know, like they, they shouldn't even have no jaw no more, bro. They should just have an upper lip. And that's it. You know, just that's it. You're going to walk around. How you, it, nigga, it's, 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 it's soft food from you, you know, from here on out with you. Because you ain't going to be able to chew. You dig what I'm saying? Like that, I, I, it should have been like that. And once I got into that point, you dig, you breed character, through, you know, through disrespect. You know, you honestly do. When you're tested, you know how to act in certain situations, you dig. You also learn how to let it be known. I don't want to fight you, not because I'm scared of you, but because I don't. What happens when I fuck you up? If I fuck you up, where does it go after this? 
So don't make it, don't don't get it confused like a nigga shook or something. That's not the case. I just don't, I don't want to take it there because I don't know what you're capable of doing if this drama go down. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, in those type of situations, you learn about, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about yourself through disrespect. And I've been disrespected a multitude of times to the point where my manhood is, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's taking a hit because it's like, yo, I, I should, you know, when you think, when you revert back to what happened that caused you that type of duress, you should, you, you get like, yo, I should have just did this and that and the third and yada, yada, yada. And you struggle, you know, this, a, it, it's a, it's a psychological battle you have within yourself. Like, man, I really, you know, just, I really let this nigga just get over on me like that. It, it, it really doesn't feel good. It, it, it doesn't. I've hated it. I've hated it. You dig? I've hated it. It won't happen. Like, not, that's not, that shit is dead as far as I'm concerned, though. But maybe that's the cause of what these two niggas right here who's interviewing this nigga were going through. Sometimes when you in a, when you in the midst of a situation and someone is really using a certain language that's, putting the you know burning the pit of your stomach up you offended you vexed by it but because you know just you don't want to be the nigga to fuck up the energy you don't want to be the nigga to get on some dumb shit and 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 in and, and your heart of hearts you want to be the bigger man and you being the bigger man is not addressing the situation but after you remove yourself from that situation where the nigga is causing you so much the rest you're perplexed by that shit and you go to bed, you think about it, it's on your mind 24 7. That you just let this nigga say this wild shit to you on you know unchallenged. You did. Maybe you one of them type niggas, and I understand it because I've been there. But at this point in time, nah, I can't be that guy, bro. If you are if you gonna bring that whole ass dude on your platform, you need to do what Cam and Mace did. And that's just that, bro. You see how uncomfortable he was when Cam and Mace was pressing him about that, man. You calling black niggas monkeys and all that, bro. Like, hey, and they was laughing about it. They was, they, you know, they was laughing about it. That's their character. But they was at least challenging him and put him in the, they put him in the hot seat. And he was really uncomfortable having to answer those questions. And this just goes to show how people know who they can do certain shit with, man. You realize with him, he didn't do that. They, you know, they, because they didn't give him no pushback when he got to talking that monkey shit. He just, all right, cool. I can kick my feet up and say whatever the fuck it is I want to say now. And he just OD'd with that shit, man. And I'm, 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 so I get you wanting to bring somebody on your channel to, you know, propel your channel into a higher stratosphere than what it is now. But if you a nigga who will bring him on your channel and not give him any resistance, you got to stay over there with him. You got to stay over there with him. I'm not saying bitch ass nigga get on that. No, I'm not. What I'm simply saying, because I'm not that guy. At this point in time in my life, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you body language before I have to vocally tell you, bro, the shit you saying is way out of pocket. I'm going to give you body language. You're going to see it. You're going to see, you're, you're going to feel the energy dissipate between me and you. You're going to feel that shit to the point where, and I've done this before at my, at my, at my job, at my, you know, at my job, when I worked for the appliance, you know, when I was delivering appliances, Ecuadorian dude. Did some sucker shit, and I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm cool on you, homeboy. I, he was shit right there in the seat next, and it, just the fact that I would even let him on the truck with me, I'm like, yo, bro, like, yo. But because me wanting to be a, a good member of the team, we all need help, so fuck it. I'll just take that L. Two-hour drive back from, you know, back to, you know, from one spot to the next that we was working at, man. He was in the seat right next to me trying to have a conversation with me, and it was as if we were, and it was as if we were miles apart from each other. I put that much distance between me and this, you know, this individual right here, bro. I'm going to give you that energy first before I get on that type time with you. I'm going to give you that energy first. And if you ain't picking up what I'm putting down, man, then just, I right, now I got to address it. I never had to address it with him. We wasn't around each other long enough to, you know, to the point where I would have, he would see me and I, it was the same shit. Like, no, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. Just, you know, stay over there. You did so as far as this motherfucker is concerned, man. Just if you you, you could give when when somebody is in your space like that, and the energy you giving ain't enough, and they consistently talking the dumb shit that they talking. At some point, you gotta address it, man. You get no you get mo, no moral victory. You get no you know um you get you get no pluses on your personality stat. None of that shit, bro. You get disrespected. 
when you get disrespected like that, you simply get, you know, it's a, it's a shot at your manhood, bro. It's a shot at your manhood. It's a shot at your self-esteem because you in your heart of hearts know you should have, you should have checked that nigga on that shit that he was talking. And you didn't, man. You It's no moral victory in you sitting there being disrespected and ostracized like that. You can't keep calling this man a monkey. This is the dude, this dude is me. You dig what I'm saying? We are one African family. And you keep saying you're a monkey to me. You're a monkey to me. Well, how come you didn't talk that wild shit when you was in front of Cam and Mace? Because they knew that he could get away with that shit on them niggas' platform. You dig what I'm saying? Don't talk. And, you know, just... We need to start inspiring people. It, who, like who, who are you inspiring? The language that you're using. Who are you looking to inspire, bro? Who exactly are you looking to inspire? I'm worried about who you would believe. You know who you're looking to inspire using the language that you're using. Teofimo Lopez, senior and junior, need to be charged to the game. Fuck them whole ass dudes, both of them. I said what I said. I hate them dudes, man. I was sympathetic towards his plight. You dig as far as the shit going on with his, you know, with his, you know, his baby mom and shit and all that. Yo, I hope she drained that nigga dry for all his cho. I, 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 you know, I hope one day I'm seeing him right here on the, you know, right here panhandling one day. I'll throw some quarters at his dumb ass. I, I'm that. I'm on that type of time with this dude, man. And I hope when Buzz sees this man again, he does that to him. He does that to him because when someone is telling you, when you got other fighters telling you, bro, you that monkey shit is dead. You just continue to use that shit. And it's not like this is the second time he used it, bro. This is the third time. This is the second time he's vocally said it. And this is the third time he's addressed it because he said it on fucking, um, you know, on Twitter. I don't do all that fighting outside the ring. This is not indicative of this is not indicative of getting of getting me to fight you in the ring, bro. It, it's it's not. You ain't talk that monkey shit with Devin. You ain't tell you got the, you talk that nigga shit. We ain't hear you say nigga until you face that instant until you stood in front of Devin. You wasn't inflammatory with the language you was using when you were, when you was trying to fight Teofimo. You didn't say nothing about the Scots and the Welsh people and the Irish people when you was gunning down Josh Taylor. You said none of that. But the minute you stand in front of black fighters, you get real lippy. You get real lippy and then want to talk about yo. I'm I don't I don't do all that. I do all my fighting in the ring. I don't do all that outside the ring. Well, hey, at this point, man, no. No, because if this is the behavior that can cause somebody to get in the ring with you to fight you, then nah, bro. It, it, it's only but for so long before everybody comes out their mouth and starts doing this dumb shit. You dig? Throwing the gloves on is a sign of respect. You dig? I'm not trying to kill you. I'm not trying to do none of that. We can shake hands after this and be, you know, and be cool. And in a lot of case, a lot of cases, be the best of friends, man. Evander Holyfield and Riddick Bo. We can be the best of friends after this. But that, like, nah, my dude, no, no, fuck no. Fuck no. This is the type of language, and this is the, you know, this is the type of language and behavior do, you know, uh, 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 um, eugenicists use or whatever, man, to justify them subjugating this. You should know better than to say some shit like this. And you think I'm about to get in the ring with you on some respect shit after you done called me a monkey a, note, a multitude of times, homeboy? No. I'm going to see you. Now, if I'm Bud, that's, this is my get down. I'm gonna see you and your pops. And if I'm not, bro, just if we not, mis if I'm, if, if what I'm hearing is correct, man, Keyshawn Davis already crashed your pops for him saying the shit that he said, bro. This is why we don't spar niggas. These are the same motherfuckers who want to talk like us, use our verbiage. They want infinite access to the word nigga and not be ostracized for using it. But look at how you just 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 look at this shit. Look at how we mistreated. Look, you know, look, look at what they think of us. Matt Telfimo Lopez, he's a you know, he's a dancer. Who's dancing? He's not doing no Spanish dances. Oh, I'll do all the Fortnite dances. That was his thing after he won the fight when he was scored a big knockout. That was his thing. I'm gonna do the Fortnite dances. I'm gonna do this and that and the third. Yada yada yada. Didn't know Honduran, no Puerto Rican, Dominican, Mexican, Ecuadorian, Salvadorian, Guatemalan, Colombian, Cuban. No Spanish-speaking mestizos was coming up with those dances, bro. You consistently borrow and take from us and refuse to respect. Why disrespecting us? And you think somebody is supposed to give you the opportunity to make money off of them after you called this man an inflammatory, racially motivated time? Bro, no, bro. I, no, no. But beat his ass.
next big fight, it should be a big ass brawl right in that arena or outside of the arena. And I should see this man picking himself up off the ground with his, you know, with, you know, with his brain in the blender. You dig? He can't hold himself up because his brain is scrambled. His nose is busted. His one of his teeth is knocked out of his mouth. Something along them lines. Something along them lines, man. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of disrespectful Latinos, bro. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm past tired of it, man. The disrespect is wild, man. If you a nigga who would sit there and bring that bitch ass dude on your platform, bro, stay over there. Unless you challenging him, you know, just unless you want what Cam and Mace was on, I respect that shit. But a motherfucker who just gonna sit there and let him call you monkeys or call another black man monkeys and oh, you're a monkey to me. You're a, you're a monkey to me. This is the same shit. That... Erica Mena is getting punished for the shit the, for this same type of fucking uh, uh, um, inflammatory remark, the blue monkey remark. She's getting punished for that. All the money she done missed out on, good. Fuck that bitch. Yes, I'm happy. This is the same type of language, man. Everybody know who the bitch is. And you gonna let this motherfucker come on your platform and say some wild shit like that, man. I'm gonna need the promoters to do their goddamn job and let, hey, yo, this shit is out. If you can sit there and want to play diplomat to Bavar and better be if due to what the Russians is doing to the Ukrainians, you better be a diplomat and, you know, as it pertains to this. You do the same shit with, in, in land. At the crib. This shit is unacceptable. It's un it's unacceptable. A motherfucker can just sit there and run his mouth and just, just, just you know, no hair on his tongue at all. Y'all, I'm going to say whatever the fuck it is I want to say. Disrespectful little bastard. Him and his daddy. At least the PBC. At least, you, we can talk all the shit we want about the PBC. At least them motherfuckers benched Angel Garcia. Nah, you can't talk at pressers no more. You, you can't talk. At the end of the day, this is a black man's company right here. I can respect that about Al Heyman. And y'all know I can't stand Al Heyman. They, no, you're not getting on no more pressures. You ain't put, we ain't putting on mic. No, no, no. You not one of us. All this, all Puerto Ricans is black. All Latinos is black. No, the fuck they're not. They're not. They are not. There are plenty of them that are, but the ones we talking about are not. They're not they're not visual representations of us. When you see them motherfuckers walking down the block, you don't say, look at all them black men walking down there. If it was a group of niggas who look like me and it was one Telfimo Lopez, one Edgar Berlanga in there, you're going to say, oh, man, look at all them black dudes. They got all the black dudes over there with the Spanish dudes. That's how you hone in on the motherfucker right there. Stop playing games, man. I, I hate the I hate them Lopez's, man. I hate Angel Garcia. I hate you motherfuckers. I, I, I honestly do, man. I hate Edgar Berlanga. I hate you motherfuckers. I, I honestly do, man, because there's just no way. And, and even with Edgar Berlanga, you know you're not supposed to be saying that word because every time you say that word, you catch us. It's like a hiccup when you say, I'm sure somebody has gotten at you about saying that shit. It's enough of us out here for you to know. And there, it's enough of us out here that's vocal enough to let it be known that, bro, I'm really uncomfortable with you using this word. And with Teofimo Lopez, it ain't even that. It's just simply some monkey shit. Monkey. Buying banana. All right, bro. Okay. Whatever. Okay. I hope Bug Real Life do it to that nigga, man. Just really just, 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 just violently and maliciously just beat the shit out of this dude. So I can laugh and come back here and make a video about it, man. But that's all I got to say about it. I'm going to work, yo. Loses.